It was a big night for the British Academy of Film and Television Arts as stars and royalty gathered at the historic Belasco Theatre in Los Angeles to attend the inaugural BAFTA Brits to Watch 2011 in partnership with Audi. And we're very, very happy that we've come together on this project, especially as it's such a, a wonderful evening. Uh, and we should be assisting these 42 young Brits now. If only one of them is successful after this, we've done something wonderful. I think it's an absolute stroke of genius from BAFTA to sort of, to, you know, cleverly to combine a royal visit with a number of things, but primarily pushing young British talent. If from a grassroots level we can establish the people who we're excited about as tomorrow's hope and foster them through and put them in front of current influential players, I think that's just, you know, I think it's a really responsible way of ensuring that a business that we love has, you know, has a very, very bright future. It's really wonderful to be uh, honoured in this way and uh, obviously get a chance to meet uh, Prince William and, and Catherine and also just to share this moment with, you know, up and coming peers in the industry and, and meet new people, so I'm really excited. The attendees express specific thanks to Audi for its deep and enduring support of the arts. Ultimately, it requires passion and it requires sacrifice because it's it's tricky to make good art because not all good art is popular, so you always need people who are prepared to give without taking to make it possible. It's just really important to support people who want to do anything in the arts because there are so few avenues to get in. There's so many people who want to create and it's just good to give people a chance. I love the fact that we're celebrating new talent. It's kind of upcoming, emerging creativity that we're celebrating tonight. To add a special touch to the evening, select attendees had the opportunity to arrive in style and luxury in a chauffeured fleet of A8 sedans. What are you driving? At the A8. Q7. See? TDI. Aren't we? Aren't we just? You guys are so happy right now. It's unbelievable. That's Swear right. You guys have a new yeah. It's right. the greatest car ever. Yeah. I've got nothing but lovely things to say about Audi. Of course, not everyone was so lucky. I, I would have loved that. I was hoping, but no. They sent one of those SUVs, <laughs> you know, and not a Q7, not a TDI. My driveway would fit one. Audi's long-standing relationship with BAFTA values a commitment to craft and creativity, factors strongly reflected in the design and engineering of the benchmark A8 sedan. Audi is a brand of innovation, and I think this needs to represent itself in the things we sponsor, the people we sponsor, and the initiatives we get behind. And that's exactly what's happening here this evening. When this opportunity came up to put this event together with the Duke, Duke and Duchess able to attend and be in California, it just was a no-brainer, really, that let's find the best Brits we've got, let's promote them to the best in Hollywood, and add that extra sparkle of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The royal couple arrived to cheers from an enthusiastic crowd who'd been waiting for hours to catch a glimpse of the new Duke and Duchess. And they didn't disappoint. It was a fantastic evening celebrating these gifted young Brits as they look forward to the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, strengthened by the support of BAFTA and Audi.